So welcome everyone. This is day 19 of the 30 days of chair yoga. And today we're going to take another break to do the breathing and meditation. So for the breathing, we're going to do an alternate nostril breathing, an introduction to all closing the nostrils one at a time. On the exhales only. And I'll guide us through that. But if you have a blocked nose or a deviated symptom or one side's really closed compared to the other, you can just do this mentally and I'll talk you through that as we get to it, okay? And for the meditation, we're going to focus on bringing our attention inward and being aware of how our mind reacts to external sounds, okay, and our thoughts, right? So, let's begin as usual, feet flat on the floor, hands on the knees, and let's get started. So remember, you can have the back against the chair, but try to just keep the low back against the chair, still keeping the upper back off the chair so you can have a nice straight spine, at least for the breath work, and then if you need to relax back into the chair, you can do that for the meditation, okay? If you press down into the chair firmly with your sitting bones, and try to feel like there's a string tied to the crown of your head, being drawn straight up towards the ceiling, lengthening your spine, lifting your chest, drawing down your back, and then let your eyes softly close. Just feel your natural breath, your normal breath, however that happens. And relax your whole forehead. Soften your eyebrows. And relax all around your eyes. Nothing to look at, so just let your eyes soften, nothing to do. And relax your shoulders and your neck. And try to soften your hips, whatever you don't need to hold your body upright. And then let's begin with that three-part breath, the full breath that we've gone over many times, just using the belly, abdomen, ribs, and chest. And gradually coming to a nice full breath, a nice deep breath. And if you enjoy using that ujjayi breath, that soft sound in your throat that we've gone over before, you can use that for now, but make sure you stop that when we come to closing the nostrils. It's okay? so letting go of the constriction in the throat if you're using now. Nice full breaths, just stretching the body, opening the body, softening any unnecessary muscular tension, allowing your body to freely expand. Try to feel like you're using some effort on the inhale to take a full breath. On your exhale, just letting the air come out. And let's take one more full breath like that, inhaling. And exhaling. Remember, as we begin to close the nostrils, always follow your own breath. If your breath is shorter or longer than mine, you breathe more quickly or more slowly, feel free to go with your body. Okay? I'm just telling you as I'm doing it, but then begin to do it at your own pace. Right? Follow your body, listen to your body, and then let your body breathe at the pace that feels natural for you.
Remember, it's most important, you should never feel out of breath at the top or bottom of the, of the breath, never having to inhale or exhale quickly. Right? So make it comfortable for your body, listen to your body. You should never feel pressure in your heart or your chest area, but focus on softening sides, softening ribs, softening abdomen. On your next exhale, exhale fully. Then close your right nostril with your right, you can use your right or left index finger, but just touching the index finger to that little bony part where, where the cartilage begins on your nose, it turns into cartilage. Just press just below that bony part very gently and the nostril will close. Okay. And then with your next inhale, inhale fully. Then close your right nostril with your right index finger or left index finger, exhale through your left. Inhale fully, removing your finger. Close your left nostril, exhale through your right. Remove the finger, inhale fully. Close the right nostril, exhale through your left. Inhale fully. Close the left nostril, exhale through your right. And continue just like that, only closing on the exhale. And to close the nostril, you don't have to press the whole nostril shut or put any pressure. Just gently touch right below the bony part of your nose. So just below, right where it switches from bone to cartilage, where it becomes solid. If you just touch there very gently, the whole nostril will close. Okay, so just very light, you don't have to press hard. Continue. And again, if your nostrils are very blocked, just feel free to do this mentally. Try to feel like you're just exhaling through one nostril at a time. Okay, the air is going to come through the other nostril, but just try to only feel the one nostril. It's all about the mind, the attention, right? So don't worry so much if the nose is closed. Inhale, continue. Closing the nostril and exhale. And continue just like that, only closing on the exhales, alternating nostrils.
And the next time you exhale through your left nostril, bring your hands down to your knees again. If you're more comfortable with the back against the chair for meditation, then bring your back against the chair. Hands can rest in the lap if they're not already. And just begin by feeling the natural sensation of the air moving through your nose. The touch of the breath inside your nostrils. And completely letting go of that full breath, the three-part breath. Just letting your body breathe on its own. It doesn't matter how, naturally, however that happens. And try to just watch your breath without any control, without any direction, without any ideas about how your breath should be. Just try to focus on the movement, that flow of your breath. If you just observe as breathing without investigating or looking any deeper, being more sensitive, then it might feel boring to observe the breath, right? But if you really watch the subtle differences between each inhale, each exhale, and really be fully present, fully experiencing, fully feeling so sensitively, each touch of the breath, each inhale, each exhale, it can be a beautiful experience. Be aware of any external sounds. It can be anything in the room. It can be the music in the background of this video. It can be my voice. But really try to pick something where you are, in your room, in your space. And just notice the most obvious sound first. And be aware of how you interpret that sound. It can be anything. Some noise from outside, or the ticking of a clock nearby, anything. Notice if you give any judgment value to that sound. In other words, do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you want it to stop? Do you feel some sensation, some reaction in your body when you hear that sound? And just being aware of these things, not trying to change it. And then drop that sound and try to hear the most subtle sound you can. This might be a very low sound coming from outside or maybe a humming from inside the house from some appliance. 
whatever it is, the most subtle sound you can hear clearly. And just be aware of that. Again, be aware of if your mind gives judgment value to it. If it sees it as a good sound, bad sound, something it likes or doesn't like. If it causes a sensation in your body to hear that sound. And just be aware, see what's happening, be curious. And then let go of the sounds and come to your mind. Be aware of whatever thoughts are in your mind. And if there are no thoughts in the mind, remember the talking inside of your head is a thought. Right? Us talking to ourselves is a thought, our thoughts. Even the idea of ourselves is a thought. We won't, have, won't get into that right now. <laughs> But just be aware of whatever thoughts you have in the mind, anything that moves through, any images, any ideas, any words. And with each one, again, without changing or trying to stop, just be aware of if you give that judgment value. In other words, Let's take self-talk for an example. Do you see your opinion in your head as a good thing, as a bad thing? Do you see any narration in the head, any self-talk about what we're doing now? Is there any value given to that? Is there any right or wrong, good or bad given to that? And then is there a sensation in the body because of that? Does that stimulate a sensation in the body, anywhere? Remember, emotions are sensations. So if you feel bored or happy, if you feel relaxed, if you feel irritated even, these are all sensations, nothing personal about them. Just be aware. And try to be aware of your thoughts, your talk in your head, anything that moves through your mind, even your opinions. Try to be aware of all of this impersonally, so choicelessly. See if you can, for a few moments, not give anything that moves through your mind a value. In other words, try not to decide whether you like something, don't like something, whether it's good or bad, right or wrong. Just for a few moments, try to watch your mind as best you can and just let whatever moves through, move through. If you start talking to yourself in your mind, the same thing, just notice that and don't judge it. There's no right or wrong. It's not that you're supposed to stop talking to yourself. And you can if you want. It's nice. <laughs> nice to get a break. But you don't have to. Just observing what's moving through the mind as it is for a few moments. If you get lost in the thoughts or anything in the mind, just come to your breath. Feel the sensation of the air moving through your nose again.
and then let go of the thoughts. Just be aware of your body, the feeling of being in your body, the skin along the outside of the body, the parts touching a chair and the floor. And if you've reached some level of relaxation, you'd like to stay here, then feel free, enjoy. Otherwise, beginning to make small movements with your hands and deepening your breath. Moving other parts of your body, your neck, your legs, if you like. Waking your body up. And when you feel ready, opening your eyes. So thank you all for practicing with me today. And if you have any questions about the breath work or meditation, anything we talked about, anything that you would like more clarity on, that we've mentioned, especially in the meditation portion. I know we've got into a little bit deeper stuff today. So just let me know, and uh, if it's something that would be easier to explain on video, I'll make a video about it, okay? But remember, it's always about questioning, right? So looking inside, questioning ourselves, and asking questions, you know, questioning things that, that sometimes we assume or take for granted. Some things can be very deep, right? Some things can be things that we've learned when we were children, or maybe that society just assumes to be correct or true, and then we just pick that up naturally through osmosis, right? Just by looking at other people, the way they behave, they act when we're young, and then we never question those things, okay? And a lot of, a lot of the things that we believe about our minds are that way. A lot of the ideas about who we think we are, our personalities, our ideas of ourselves, can be things that we just assume to be true and not question, okay? And I think that's as deep as we'll get into it for right now, okay? If you have any questions, let me know. So I'll see you tomorrow for day 20, and until then, take care.